This is the third in the series of videos on how to use Plex. The first was the Plex Media Server, the second was using Plex Media Players, and this one is, is going to look at how do you actually stream your media outside your home network. And uh, in achieving that, there are a couple of steps that you need to go through. So, first thing is that you need to sign into MyPlex. So, you're on your the uh, computer where you have your server up. So I'm using a Mac to um, complete all these steps. And I'm just I'm just sharing the screen at the moment to the computer that has the server. And you'll find on a Mac the server's available up here in the taskbar. And when you open up the, the Media Manager, it will give you a Plex web page where you can change all your settings. So I can uh, go home and see all my all my media and um, add to my queue and update everything and add new channels and do everything I, I need to from the server. Now in the settings, MyPlex, that's where you sign in to MyPlex and I've already signed into MyPlex and I've actually also completed the, uh, the step that, that is needed to stream your media which is publish your server to MyPlex so that anything trying to get to your media from outside. So you may be at the, the local shops on a iPad and you want to uh, kill a bit of time and watch a TV show, then you have to get through your firewall, through your router, into your computer that's hidden inside your network. And the, the one of the steps is publishing your server. So first thing you've got to do is sign into MyPlex and you do that through the settings of the server in the Media Manager. Again on the server in the preferences and into the MyPlex tab is where you will publish your server to MyPlex. Now I've already done this and publishing the server makes it uh, appear to devices outside your network. It will also map it to a port and initially it, it mapped my server to a different port than this one but this is the port you need to open in your router. We'll do that shortly and this is the port that it's mapped to. This, which, is, which I'm hiding at the moment, is the uh, public IP address that my ISP has assigned me. So all of my devices inside my network are running on the wireless. So they're running with the 192.168.1.0 network, the private network. Uh, any machine inside my network cannot be found out in the public internet because it's inside my network. The only way I can direct traffic into a specific machine is by opening a port, giving it a static IP address and sending the, uh, the, the, the uh, application straight to that machine. So for the purpose of this in MyPlex you need to publish your server to MyPlex and also um, select that, manually specify the port which I've, I've done as 32400. First step, sign into MyPlex. Second step, publish a server to MyPlex and then we go on to actually how do we actually open a port up on a router to get this to work. Uh, there is in the Plex wiki there is a, a wiki page on actually how you do all this enabling the iOS from outside of your home network so it gives you a whole lot of steps if you're using an Apple Airport Extreme router. Uh, if, you're not, if you are not doing using an airport router and you might not know how to actually open a port there is a site portforward.com and then you go to the port forwarding guides will give you any brand of router and show you how to open a port so if you, are, you know, have a, a, a Cisco router or a NetLink router or D-Link router, if we open up D-Link it just shows you how to actually go in and you know, pick your model I'm just picking anything because I don't have this sort of router Pick that one. Pick your model. Um, and then once you've done that, it actually uh, asks you what's the application you want to um, open it for. So every possible one. So I want to open it for Plex. So on the D-Link router, there should be a Plex one there, Plex Media Server. So that's the um, application I want to open up the port for. So it's, it's going to show you how to do it all the steps that you need to know 
for your particular brand of router on that one. So that is in portforward.com and select port forwarding guides uh, for your particular one because I'm going to show you how to do this on an, an Apple Airport Extreme on a Mac. And so first of all I need to ensure that the computer that has the server on it has a static IP address so that every time if I happen to shut this computer down uh, and turn it on again that my router is not going to assign it a new IP address. So I want it to keep the same IP address. Now I can, I can do this in the um, network preferences in the network pane or I can actually do it in the router. I can assign it its own IP address which is what I actually have done but I'll show you how to do it on this first. So in the network uh, you select the connection so the particular machine that has the server on it is a Wi-Fi machine and into the advanced and TCP IP at the moment this machine is is being assigned its IP address using DHCP so the router is just arbitrarily assigning it one if I turn this off and I turned it on again it's going to get a different IP address and in here is where you can say I want to change that and assign it manually so in here you would put the IP address that you want to um, use and this is the address of my server inside my network uh, I don't change that because that's the router's IP address so you don't touch any of these and then OK and then, then if this machine was turned off and turned on again it's going to be given the same IP address because you're setting it manually now I'll go back and do and leave that because this is not the uh, actual machine with the server on it but that's how you set a static IP address and the other way and then apply the other way is to do it through the router so I just need to, sh to change computers and show you how to open a port on the router so pause there but this is my uh, other machine and I need to be on here because I need to get the airport utility to actually open the port and uh, assign the IP address as a manual. So I'm using the Airport Extreme and I've had to uh, use using Airport Utility 5.6 even though this version 6 is out now it doesn't let me do this uh, fine tinkering if you like. So I'm going into the internet connection or section and into the TCP IP and I'm going to change or allocate the machine with the server uh, allocated its own IP address. So I mean, this is just the uh, the public IP address which I've blocked out now. That's the IP address I've been assigned by the uh, ISP with the um, DNS settings from the IP um, ISP as well. Uh, what we want to do is first of all reserve. So in this in the Apple Airport Extreme the uh, way to do it is to add a uh, device and reserve an IP address for it so that, and this is the machine here, the iMac old is the computer that has the server on it, the Plex Media server. It has that IP address and I want that machine to always have that IP address. So I need to get the MAC address of the um, computer to do this on the Apple. So I can edit it. Uh, and I'm reserving the address by MAC address and that's the MAC address of that machine that's its IP4 address so that every time and then I would update the router which I just won't I'd do at the moment uh, every time that machine is rebooted it's always going to have that IP address and I've, I've done the same for several other of the devices inside my network, the, the NAS box, the laser printer, the, uh, the other uh, router the, uh, that extends the network, the TV, there's a couple of TVs that use the internet, the Mac Mini, they've all got their own IP addresses, everything else I just let the router allocate it through DHCP. So I've done that, that's my uh, allocating a static IP address. So you can either do it on the Mac through the network pane where you actually find your connection, go to advanced into the TCP IP and change it here, change it manually 
I found that there was a few problems with that, but it actually works this way. Now, the more important thing is that once you've done that, you actually have to open up a port. So in the Apple router, you have to ensure that that's uh, selected, and then you want to configure a port mapping. And in doing this, you need to add a new one by hitting the plus. Now, I've added it, so let's just edit it. And what you've got to do is open up port 32400. And you have to open it, open it up both public and private in the different protocols, TCP and UDP. And then put in the static IP address of the device. So it's sort of all that there is to it. You don't actually have to change anything here because we're not setting up a, a, a NAT for, 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 e for email or to allow me to print from outside my home network. I just want to open up the port for Plex and continue done. And then update the router. And that's sort of all there is to it in port forwarding. It's, it, each router has its own process for doing that. So you need to go to that portforward.com and look for your router, your model, and then it will show you the steps to do it for your particular router. But you have to open up the port. The last part is to actually check whether you can connect outside of your network remote, remotely. So in the, one of the players, and this one is on the iPad, the Plex app in the iPad, uh, you can see all of the uh, media. So it's got the, your library, your channels, your queue, recently added. Uh, and what you need to check is in the servers that the actual default server is the one that, you're going to, that will, be, will allow you to connect remotely. So iMac Gold is the Plex server. If you hit the blue arrow, it will show you all the different connections that it has for that server. The public IP address is the remote connection. And that was, was um, provided by publishing the server uh, within the server preferences to my Plex. And once you do that, it assigns it a port and it uh, will work with any player. The player will just uh, obtain that information from MyPlex and add it automatically into your um, server preferences. The uh, other two, the top two, are the actual local network connections. So one of them is uh, being used at the moment because I'm inside the house. I'm not, I'm not doing this remotely. Uh, but uh, again, that was was discovered through MyPlex. Um, if it didn't work and you couldn't see anything, then you wouldn't have to manually go and add a new connection yourself. Putting in your public IP address where the host is and the port 32400, provided you had again opened up that port in your router. The easiest way, it seems to me, is to do this process through MyPlex. And we'll just have a look at that one last time to remind you. Remember from the server preferences, select MyPlex and then uh, uh, sign in if you haven't already signed into MyPlex, publish your server, uh, it'll map it to a port. If it doesn't work, you can manually specify the port. I've just done both to make sure it does. That's all there is to it.